Welcome back, this is Mr. Tipton, and as we continue to study different applications of percents, we are going to be looking today at discounts and markdowns. Pretty much the same thing. We all like it when we go shopping and something has been discounted or something has been marked down. That means we're going to be paying less than the original price of the item. So we're just going to look at figuring some discounts and markdowns today. Example number one. A sweater at Kohl's has a 20% discount, so how much is the discount? Once again, we're using proportions, and because they deal with percents, we're using 100 in the bottom left, and 20 has a percent sign next to it, so that must be what goes above the 100. And, oh, I forgot to say how much the sweater was. I'm going to write it right here. It's a $25 sweater at Kohl's has a discount how much is the discount alright so 20 percent of twenty five dollars gonna use our cross products 100 times X is equal to 25 times 20 100 X is equal to 500 and when you divide both sides by a hundred X is equal to five dollars. The discount is five dollars. Twenty percent of twenty-five dollars is five dollars. All right, good sentence answer uh, is what we'll be looking for on your quiz. Discount of five dollars. All right, let's do another. Example two. There's a $399 snowblower at Sears that has been marked down 5%. What is the new cost of the snowblower? All right, this question's a little different than the first one. Uh, if you notice the first question, it just said, I'll underline it, it said, how much is the discount? $5 was the amount that's taken off. Uh, the next problem doesn't ask us how much the discount is it says what is what is the new cost of the snowblower so not just the discount but the new the the entire new cost of the snowblower all right have to be sure to answer what we're asked all right so we set this one up and we've got five percent marked down five percent and it's a $399 snowblower. And we're looking for the amount that it's been marked down or discounted. 100 times X is equal to 399 times 5. 100 X is equal to 1,995. Divide both sides by 100. And X is equal to $19.00 and 95 cents but remember remember to answer what you're asked what is the new cost of the snowblower well it's not nineteen dollars it's a three hundred ninety nine dollar snowblower that's been marked down five percent so we're only taking a little bit off nineteen dollars and ninety five cents is the amount that's being taken off the three ninety nine Okay, so 399 minus the 1995 is 379 dollars and five cents. This is the new cost of the snowblower. Okay, the 1995 is the five percent that was marked down. All right, now there's another way to do this problem. I'll switch over to green. All right. Still with 100 in the bottom left, still with 399 as the full cost of the snowblower. But in the, the way on the left, the black way, we figured 5%, and then we subtracted the 5% at the end. We can subtract the 5% at the beginning and find out the total price by using 95 over 100. If it's been marked down 5%, then we're not paying 5% of the 100, which means we are paying 95%. Okay, this is 100 minus 
the 5% discount gives us the 95. The cross products will work the same. 100 times x, 399 times 95. 100x is equal to, let's see, 37,905. And when you divide both sides by 100, you get 379, $379.05. Okay, which again, same thing as we got this way. Okay, the black way, we figured the discount, the markdown, and we subtracted it from the price. The green way, we subtracted the discount rate at the beginning and then determined the total price. Two different ways to do this, and we also have our percent equation we can use as well percent as a decimal times the whole and over here we would have 0 0.95 times the whole okay proportional equation doesn't matter to me as long as you're showing your work all right example number three target has a necklace on sale for eleven dollars and forty cents its original price was seventeen dollars what is the percent of discount? All right, no problem. This, this is a little different. This time we're being asked, what is the percent of the discount? We know the original price and we know the sale price, but this time we are looking for the percent, so we're going to put X over 100. All right, on sale for 1140, original price was 17 well 17 is going to go on the bottom because that's where the total goes the original whole entire price goes on the bottom and 1140 is the part of 17 dollars uh, that is being paid cross products 17 times x is equal to 100 times 1140 17x is equal to 1140 divide both sides by 17 and you get 67.058 and a bunch of other stuff all right we're being asked for a percent so we're actually just going to round to the nearest percent. All right, X is approximately equal to 67%. All right, now here's where you have to be careful. If X is 67%, that's the part that's being paid. $11.40 is being paid so 67 percent is being paid so if you are paying 67 percent what's the discount well the entire necklace is a hundred percent and if you are paying 67 percent it means you are not paying 33 percent all right so three thirty three percent is the percent of discount okay having some pen issues here percent of discount uh, d-i-s-c-o-u-n-t all right there's too much too much writing on my screen this time it's not gonna let me finish it like I'd like so I'm just gonna erase it okay that's 33 percent is the answer here it's the percent of discount you do pay 67 when you pay the 1140, so you're not paying 33%. All right, so here's another application of percents, discounts, markdowns, lots of cross products, or a percent equation as well. Let's see, part equals percent times whole. Let's see if my pen will cooperate here. The part equals the percent which we don't know 
times the whole. And we divide both sides by 17. And we end up with, <clears throat> again, x being this 67%. Again, that's the part you are paying, so the part you're not paying is 33%. All right, write down any questions that you have, and we'll go over them in class. See you soon.